Hello, Melody. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, Wilfredo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good to Hello. see you. Good evening. Hello, Melody. Hello, Lydia. Good evening. Okay, hello everybody, good evening. All right, so tell me, where are you in the platform? How are you doing in the platform with the test, the final test? I'm about to start the uh, final exam. Okay, very good. And Melody, what about you? I have done the final test, but I I've left one question that I don't I have been, I have no clue. Okay, we can go over it if you want. Uh, look for the question number. Okay. Tell me the question number when uh, when, when you get a chance. I, I think it's the, the number two. Okay. I okay. know which, which can be the answer, but uh -huh. when I write them. I'm not sure in I I don't get the right okay. answer. Okay, let me show you that right now. Okay, let me go to the final exam. Question number two, what does the speaking session section measure? All right. No, 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 it's not that. No, it's like number three or four. Okay. Which has two, two text box. Okay. Uh, mention the respond features, which will help you get a better score. That no. One. Number six, what will you be evaluated on? Number seven, mention two tasks, which will help you write your essay. All right. Not sure which one, a one or two? Okay, wait. No. Well, go ahead and, and, and uh, when you get a chance, Melody, we can go over it, okay? Find the, the correct answer, uh, find the correct number, and then um, I'll help you. Uh, today before the class ends. Okay. Oh, okay, very good. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, I want to ask you some uh, questions, something that's very important for, uh, for taking this test. If you're going to take the IBT, right, which is the one that we're studying. If you're taking the IBT test, it is important that you, uh, that you at least know how to type a little bit. Okay, so how is your typing? Okay, remember, if you're going to do the IBT, you're going to do it in uh, in the computer. So uh, the type you can take a typing test. I recommend this, right? Like for example, let's let's do a typing test right now. I varias páginas, right? There's a lot of different uh, pages, but you can start uh, taking a test, right, to see how you're doing in typing. Uh, for example, go to this page here, and you're going to write this, right? All right, so you're going to do a, a typing test like this. 
right? La idea, I'm not going to finish, right? But the idea is that you can measure your typing skills, right? I recommend that at least you have a basic level, at least 25 words per minute, okay? Aquí le va a tirar un, un resultado, ¿verdad? Um, if you don't feel that you have uh, a good typing fluency, right? No es que escriban 100 palabras por minuto, no. But you have to at least have 20, 25, 30, 35, okay? If you need help, like uh, improving your typing score, you can come over here where it says typing courses. Bueno, aquí le va a dar un resultado, right? Obviamente está bien bajo porque no, no continúe, right? Uh, but you need to be in an average level. Look, if you look over here in the website, uh, this is an average level typing. It's start por aquí, okay? Between 25 and 45 words per minute. That's an average level typing, okay? I recommend that for you, okay? That's my recommendation for you, right? Now, if you do not have the, the necessary average level, you can come and do a typing courses here, right? Typing courses. Vengan aquí. And you can do start lesson one, lesson two. Um, look, hay un gran montón de lecciones, okay? that you guys can do. So I recommend that you do some typing practice for this test, okay? Uh, uh, let's say, Melody, have you ever done a test, a typing test? Nunca te has medido? Nunca has hecho una prueba así de typing? Typing test? Uh, what about you, David? Have you ever done a typing test? Yes, with this website, typing this. Okay. How many words per minute do you have? 42, 45. Oh, that's very good, very good. Ah, entonces, you, that's it. You're not going to have a problem, right? Eh, es solamente para las personas que necesitan un poquito de ayuda, right? Because yeah. remember, eh, the, the TOEFL test, you have to type and you're under time, okay? You're under pressure, you're under time, right? Uh, what about you? Uh, who else is here? Uh, Wilfredo, what about you? How's your typing skills? I'm about 37, 30, 35, 37 words per minute. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, what about you, Veronica? How's your typing skills? Mm, well, I type around 48 and 40 words per minute. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Very good, guys. So basically, if you need a little extra help here, practice, uh, go to this website. I, I body, sorry, but you do a typing test and do some typing lessons. All right, um, let's go to, uh, what else? Uh, I wanna show you something uh, about the test. Uh, is Juan here? Juan, está aquí? Are you here? Uh, because Juan took a test, a similar test, right? Um, es el TOEFL, pero no, él es, no es el IBT TOEFL, TOEFL, okay? If you look over here, I want to show you the difference, right? Um, right now, in some institutions here in, in El Salvador, okay, they're giving the IBT, uh, pueden, pueden tomar el TOEFL IBT, or the TOEFL ITP, okay? What is the ITP? Do you guys remember? It's Institutional Test Program. That means it's an internal test. Right, imagine like this, for example, um, digamos que yo soy el rector de la universidad tal, right, uh, uh, XY University. And I need you to have, to graduate, I need you to have a, a TOEFL, ITP. So, mi propia universidad va a crear un TOEFL test, okay? Y, y entonces ese es el que vamos a dar. Entonces ese sería un ITP, okay? It's only for the institutional use. But the one that is international, the test que en cualquier lugar, que te, hasta te lo piden para trámites de migración, es el TOEFL IBT, okay? This is international. This, this test is valid in the United States, in Canada, in Europe. It's valid everywhere, okay? Any questions about the difference? 
Any questions about the difference of the test? Okay, so the uh, TOEFL IBT obviously is, is, is more complete, right? So it has all four sections, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. The TOEFL ITP only has the listening and comprehension section. Uh, creo que tiene writing. Um, no sé si es un writing test or grammar test. I don't know, okay? So this is the difference, all right? Very good. The, I, the TOEFL IBT test has a score of zero to 120. Okay. All right, questions. Solo quería eh, sacarlo de duda, ¿verdad? Por si ven otro tipo de TOEFL en, en otros lugares. Okay, very good. So let's go to the presentation that we were working on yesterday, right? Remember that we were working on the introduction paragraph, right? Which is very important. Uh, if you haven't given me the introduction paragraph, right? Era la actividad que estábamos haciendo ayer. Um, you can give it to me. You can send me, um, uh, uh, send me a, a picture, okay? And I'll be glad to, uh, to read it and give you feedback. All right, the introduction should have at least three things, okay? It should have a general statement. It should have a topic sentence. And it should give your opinion or position. It should list the points that you have, that, that you are agree or disagree with, okay? Let's say, for example, here, somebody asks me, uh, what do you think uh, about the human race? Is it, is it heading a good direction or bad direction? Direction. Well, here's my uh, example, right? So let's go ahead and look at mine. General statement. Many people believe that the human race is heading towards a bad direction, okay? This is a general statement, right? ¿Por qué general? Porque estoy hablando de many people, right? It's not my opinion. It's not the opinion of, the, of, of no one else. It's something general. Es una opinión general, okay? Many people believe that the human race is heading towards a bad direction. Number two, topic sentence. Is the human race heading towards a disastrous end? Or, perdón, this is a, should be an R, or is it going to thrive and survive? Will adversity bring the best or the worst of us? Okay, this can be a topic sentence. Okay, eh, recuerden que vimos también había una sección cuando tú puedes como eh, incluir la misma pregunta otra vez en el, en el introduction paragraph, restate the question. Number three, your position or your opinion about the subject. I am an optimist. I believe that the human race can avoid an apocalyptic end because first, y aquí voy a nombrar mis razones. First, we are inherently good inside. Secondly, our instinct to survive will force us to work together. And finally, so you see, what am I using? Linking words. Finally, I think that technology and science will come to the rescue in the end. I forgot one word there, so yeah, in the end. All right, do you see? Mine and mine is not perfect, right? Yo cometo errores también, so don't worry, okay? Now, my general statement is algo general. My topic sentence, it's an introduction into the topic. And number three, my position, I have to give the list of the points that I'm going to develop in the body of the paragraph, okay? So, ya, si ustedes continúan leyendo mi essay, ¿cuáles serían los puntos? ¿Cuáles serían los, los, los main ideas que, que voy a tirar? Hmm? Serían estos, right? Number one, I believe People are inherently good inside. Secondly, our instinct to survive will force us to work together. And finally, I think that technology and science will help us. Okay. <clears throat> Entonces, my next paragraphs, los tres que siguen, three more paragraphs, y la conclusion sería four paragraphs, 
my next three paragraphs are going to be these. Esta, estas cosas que están aquí. First, second, finally. Okay? All right. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo hacer una introducción? For an essay? How to write an introduction? Questions? Questions? Pregunten. If you have a doubt, because ahora ustedes van a hacerlo, right? You guys are going to do it right now. So if you have any questions, tell me, right? Okay, bueno, I want to read yours then. Okay. For example, here's a question. Uh, do you think the human race is heading towards a disastrous end? Esa es la pregunta, right? This is what they want me to talk about in my essay, right? This is an independent task, right? My opinion. So here's my general statement, my topic, and my opinion. Now, yo le escribiría todo en un solo paragraph, right? Aquí lo estoy separando para, para que podamos ver. But I would write everything in one paragraph. So this is my introduction, right? This is my introduction paragraph. Okay. All right. Very good. So you guys are ready to practice? Listos? All right. Make sure, I think, Miguel, you're coming in. Make sure you have a general statement, a topic sentence, and your opinion. Remember, your opinion has to have the, the things you're going to talk about in the essay, okay? Remember to use linking words also when you're listing things, okay? All right. Are you guys ready? This is, the, this is what you're going to do right now. We're going to practice this. Directions for the for this task, you will write an essay in response to a question that asks you to state, explain, and support your opinion on an issue. Typically, an effective essay will contain a minimum of 300 words. Your essay will be judged based on the quality of your writing. This includes the development of your ideas, the organization of your essay and the quality and accuracy of the language you use to express your ideas. Okay, pregunta, ¿me van a medir mi grammar or mi spelling? Yes, no? ¿Me van a calificar el grammar or spelling? No. 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 They're going to or, uh, uh, grade or qualify my organization, my thought organization. Okay, so hablamos de thought organization, right? La semana pasada for speaking. What is something that you need to have for thought organization? What type of words? Remember? What type of words we need to have when we organize our ideas? Linking words. Yes, correct, linking words. All right, you have 30 minutes to plan and complete your essay. Aquí viene la pregunta. Your friend wants to lose weight. Your friend, uno solamente, perdón. Your friend wants to lose weight. What advice would you give to your friend and why? Right? All right. Si quieren, pueden escribir las preguntas ahí. Okay, if you guys want. That's the question. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to write the question. There is somewhere. Okay, very good. Your friend wants to lose weight. What advice would you give to your friend and why? Remember to answer why. All right, let's go to the next 
uh, section. Now, what we're going to do here is we're not going to write the whole essay, okay? Estamos solo practicando la introduction, right? How to write an introduction, okay? So I want you to go ahead and take some time to write the introduction, okay? Um, the introduction, you can share it on WhatsApp, okay? So le voy a dar un tiempo. Escriban en algún lugar. You can use notepad. You can use a word. You can use whatever. Or you can just type it there in WhatsApp. Um, however you want. O si quieren usar Zoom, también pueden usar aquí el chat de Zoom. That's fine too. Okay. Whatever is better for you. Okay, so we have 20 minutes to write. Imagínense que están así, haciendo un examen real. You have five minutes to prepare. Le voy a dar cinco minutos. And you have 20 minutes to write the whole essay. But we're only doing the introduction, right? So deberían de tomarse cinco minutos preparando y cinco minutos escribiendo la introduction. Okay? Ya está allí. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to use my clock right now it's 8 21 all right i'm going to give you until 8 31 okay ready you can go Uh, Melody, uh, no, the question is the one that I am projecting right now. Uh, fluency, what do you mean fluency? Uh, accuracy? Writing fluency? I'm not sure what, what you mean. Ah, uh, you're reminding me of the question. Ah, uh, you're reminding me of the question that we had on the test. Oh, okay. Okay, eight minutes, eight minutes. Uh, Juan, we are doing a, a, a writing practice. We're doing an introduction paragraph. The question is the one that I am projecting here. At the bottom, it has the question. Your friends want to lose weight. What advice would you give your friend and why? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yes, well, um, 
in that case, if I were in that situation, uh, well, some advice that I can provide to someone. Wait, wait, Juan, Juan, uh, es, es una tarea de escrito, no es speaking, <laughs> writing. Okay, fíjese, bueno, teacher, primeramente la disculpa, fíjese que tuve una emergencia acá con mi niño y voy para el, para el Bloom, entonces ah, no okay. le presté atención a la, a la clase y ahorita estoy aquí saliendo a la carrera. Ok, no se preocupe, está bien. Este, yo mañana me reincorporo a la clase. Ok, Juan. Ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. All right, Gracias. no problem. Ok, we have five minutes. You should begin writing now. Five minutes preparation, five minutes writing. So go ahead and do your introduction now. Uh, put it on in WhatsApp or put it in Zoom here. Okay, Miguel, very good. I was reading yours, your paragraph. Excellent, good job. Very good, Miguel. The only thing I can tell you is that in your in your last sentence, right? Uh, it's it's very long. It's a very long sentence. Recuerda de eh, oh. poner cerrar ideas, right? For example, lose, losing weight can be beneficial or dangerous for the individual depending on the current weight to ratio. Punto. I that, that that's an, that's one sentence. Then you have to start another sentence. So okay. for remember the third thing you need to have, right? The third requirement is that you state your opinion. Uh, maybe you have two or three different reasons or things that you would uh, that you're going to tell your friend. So put them there. Okay? Porque si to, si aquí te queda solamente con una Remember, it's the same thing that I told you yesterday, right? If you only have I, one, one idea, do you have different ideas there? Yes, but it's more than, more than what advice I will give. Mm -hmm. It's more in a, what I will base my advice in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can, you can begin to give us an idea of what you're going to talk about. So, digamos, but in, in the body of the paragraph, in the body of the essay, I'm sorry, you have three paragraphs, right? Tienes mm -hmm. que llenar three paragraphs. ¿De qué se trataría en cada uno de esos? Well, first, it mm -hmm. will be the dangers of a few methods that exist for losing weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is also about if it is actually needed, if is my friend overweight or not. And lastly, it will be a recommend, 
the that the based on that i will uh, tell them to probably visit a nutritionist as it will be one of the best ways for them to find an effective and healthy method that is perfect for their, for their needs. Okay, perfect, very good. So what you need to do is put those three things. No sé si puede ver ahí lo que yo escribí. Like, uh, yeah. so those three things, Miguel, they have to be in your last, in your last paragraph, right? I mean, your last sentence, right? Por ahí. No tienen que estar todos en, en una sola oración pero tienen que estar ahí como mencionados, right? You did. They are out there, but they are a little bit mixed in with other mixed. sentences. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. So use linking words, mm -hmm. right? To introduce okay. those ideas, right? Uh, for first, additionally, furthermore, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, very okay. good. Thanks. I'll see how I can make it better. <laughs> All right. Yeah, very good. It's good. It's good. Perfect, right? You're heading in the correct direction. Okay, alguien más? Let's see. How much time do we have? We have two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Finish up, please. Send it to me. One minute, one minute. Okay, very good. I think I have one here. Okay, I have uh, Lydia and, and Melody. Okay, so let me read Melody's. Okay, very good, Melody, excellent. Uh, what you can do, Melody, is somewhere there, in, en algún, creo que en la tercera oración, mention that this is what you would tell your friend, right? Because remember the question, right? The question was, uh, imagine uh, one of your friends wants to lose weight, what advice would you give your friend, right? So somewhere there, right, Melody? Eh, dirigirla hacia, el, hacia tu friend, okay? Somewhere there. Very good, very good, Melody. Uh, Lydia, uh, losing weight is, is eat less calories than your body lose. Like, is your body needs, like if, if, Lydia, like if your body needs, you have to eat, right? okay, very good. So one of the two advices that I'm going to give you, here, Lydia, instead of say, give you, say, give my friend, right? Porque recuerden, están dando esta advice, se la están dando a un amigo, right, Lydia? So you can say, so one of the two advice, um, ahí falta algo, verdad, Lydia? 
one of the two advices, right? That I'm going to give you, uh, my friend, is, and then you talk to your friend, right? Como si estuviera dirigiéndote a tu, a tu amigo. All right, very good. So you just have to change that, right? Remember the question, right? Because the question is, uh, what advice would you give your friend? I would tell my friend, number one, blah, blah, blah. Number two, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Wilfredo, how to help a friend that wants to lose weight? Losing weight should be easier for a, a, a I don't understand that word, a Crohn's that wants to lose weight, especially my friend. I'll give big advice, all right? You just have to check the spelling there, Wilfredo, right? Aunque no te están grading the spelling, the spelling, the spelling can affect you because um, you have to be, se tiene que entender, right? In my opinion, I should advise her. No, in my opinion, I should advise her or, no, that, that you have to fix that. Pueden decir, my advice to my friend will be, will be, okay? Okay, very good. Let me just read one more and then we'll, we'll, we'll continue with the, with the next practice. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, let me go ahead and share it uh, with you one more time. Uh, I think I have one more, right? I have David and Veronica. I'm going to read it, uh, David and Veronica. I promise I'm going to read it. All right, just let's refocus, right? ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Estamos haciendo the introduction paragraph, right? So what is the three things that I need to have? Uh, the question is, your friend wants to lose weight. What advice will you give your friend? Right? Tendría que decir friend, okay? So no, the advice is not for you or the person reading this, right? My advice is for my friend. So that's very important to remember, okay? Para no confundir los temas, verdad? O los pronombres, like, you know? We have to keep that in order. All right. So general sentence, general sentence. What do you have? Uh, let's say, for example, David, what do you have for your general sentence? I'm sorry, a statement or sentence. Let me, what do you have for your general statement? Right, so tiene que ser algo como neutral, right? For example, puede ser algo así como, nowadays, okay, many young people want to lose weight, right? ¿Por qué, por qué decir algo así? Algo que sea general para introducir, right? Okay. Now, Alguien más? David, are you there? David, David. Are you there, my friend? Isn't you, I'm sorry. Okay, Bye. David, what do you have for your general st uh, sentence, the general statement? What do you have?
what do you have? Lo acabas de poner allí, ¿verdad? En, en, en Facebook. I mean, Facebook. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Zoom, right? Yes? David? Okay, David, creo que no estás aquí, ¿verdad? No estás acá. All right, very good. Lydia, are you there? Lydia, hello, hello. Hello, chicos, prendan su micrófono, por favor, cuando los llame, please. Uh, Lydia, Lydia, are you there? Can you speak? Okay. Uh, Melody, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you, Melody. Can you help us with the general statement? What, what do you think is a good general statement for this? Mm, I will base on my own statement. Mm -hmm. Just like, let me check. Mm, nowadays, some people still think that the only way of losing weight is by stopping eating. Okay, nowadays, some people think that the only way to lose weight is by stopping, uh, we can change it, stopping eating, no, we can change that. No puedes decir stopping eating porque stopping? tenés. Aha, uh -huh, very good. In, by, in. Uh, you have ing, ing. Everything. Very good. Nowadays, people think that the only way to lose weight is by starving themselves. I'm going to put themselves here. Okay, very good. Now, no sé si todo el mundo puede ver acá. Eh, el, el statement que tiene eh, Melody es muy bueno. Why? Because she is not talking about her opinion. Right? Algunos de ustedes van directamente a su opinión. Están entrando así de lleno como, I think, blah, blah, blah. All right? No está malo, pero no es un introduction paragraph. Okay? Estamos hablando de un essay, no speaking, you know? So you have to uh, start with a general statement for your introduction. Uh, topic sentence. ¿Qué es un topic sentence? Simplemente de qué se trata el tema, right? Como más específico, right? You can restate a question too. You can put a question there too. What do you have, uh, Ayala? Are you there? Or Andrea, what do you have as a, as a topic center? Mm, sorry, teacher. I couldn't make it in late, but I think uh, it's about lose weight, the principal topic, really? Yes, it's correct. It's about losing uh, weight. Mm -hmm. mm. Some specialists suggest that to lose weight is important to visit a nutritionist and doing exercise by the supervision of trainer, a uh, special trainer. Very good. Uh, I, I don't know if I heard you correctly because it, it sounded a little it was a little difficult to hear, but Let's say, for example, podemos poner a topic sentence. Some, some doctors suggest that losing weight is important for your health. Uh, and now you can talk about your friend. If my friend was uh, wanted to lose weight, right? I will give him or her the following advice, okay? So that can be a topic sentence. And then finally, give your opinion, right? This is a nutritionist and be trained by a specialist. Okay, so for example, what what reasons would you tell them? Uh, see a nutritionist and what else? 
and uh, assist to do exercise by the supervision of a trainer. Okay, very good. So I would advise my friend to, first of all, be a nutritionist, right? Nutritionist, okay? Secondly, I would tell him to exercise under the supervision of a trainer or professional trainer up on there. All right, excellent. Very good. Now, ¿qué pasa si ponemos todo esto junto? All right? Now we have a good essay paragraph. First introduction paragraph, right? Si ponemos todo esto junto, right? Let's put it all together. Let's put it all together in a nice paragraph. All right. So, quien quiere leerlo? Who wants to read it? Me. Okay, do it. Nowadays, some people think that they only the only way to lose weight is by starving themselves. Some doctors suggest that losing weight is important for your health. If my friend wanted to lose weight, I will him her the following advice. I will advise my friend to first of all see a nutritionist. Secondly, I will tell him to exercise under the supervision of a professional trainer. Excellent. Now, si quieren agregar otra, porque como tienen tres paragraphs que tienen que desarrollar, pueden agregar one more point. Who has another, another uh, point that they can, another advice that they will give their friend? Hmm? Who has some other advice there? Nadie más tiene otro punto? Just para que lo podamos agregar. Uh, will I have uh, sleeping enough hours during the night? Okay, very good. And finally, I will, but in vez de usar advice, I'm going to use another word, encourage. Encourage, quiere decir como animar. Encourage him to sleep uh, enough hours. All right, very good. Excellent. So, ahora siguen tre tres paragraphs, right? Lo que es el body of the essay, okay? De que se van a tratar. It's going to be very good. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, see a nutritionist. Secondly, exercise under the supervision of a professional trainer. And finally, sleep. Okay? So estos serían los tres paragraphs que voy a desarrollar. So entonces tengo que escribir un paragraph, son cuatro a cinco oraciones, ¿verdad? So tengo que escribir cuatro a cinco oraciones sobre el tema de nutritionist. Cuatro o cinco oraciones sobre el tema de professional trainer. Cuatro o cinco oraciones sobre el tema de sleep. Okay. Why is it important? Why is it important that you see a nutritionist? Okay. Uh, what advice would a nutritionist give you? Why is it important to sleep enough hours? Okay, how can your friend sleep enough hours, etc. right? Pero quiero que vean algo. Eh, la nota ya viene desde la introduction, es decir, cómo lo van a desarrollar se basa en la introduction, okay? Do you see how important the introduction is? It's very important, por eso estoy enfatizando bastante la introduction, okay? Questions? 
Does anybody have a question? Questions, questions? Okay, como sintieron este ejercicio? What did you feel? Hmm? It's good, it's good enough. Okay. I'm learning a lot. Very good, right? This is formal writing, right? Uh, this is not something that you teach in English class. Look, I've taught English and I've taught advanced level English and, and this is something that we normally don't teach, right? Because when you're learning English, you're going to an academy, they focus on what? On speaking, right? But this is a, a very important part, especially when you want to work with your English, right? You want to study in another country with your English. Um, you want to study a, a maestria, you want to study, a, you know, you want to travel to another country, you want to put immigration papers. Um, this is all important. Okay, very good. Uh, let me stop right here. Uh, I promise I was going to read the other essay that are there. Okay, very good. David, my advice to you, David, is that you practice, así como practicamos nosotros, right? The general statement, put a, a topic sentence, and then go to the advice. Because estás entrando directamente con lo que le dijeras a tu amigo. Okay? It's okay, but you need to develop the, the, the introduction. General statement, topic sentence, and... Uh, give your, your opinion, pero no empieces desde allí desarrollar, sino introduce your ideas. That's what I mean. Uh, Veronica, let me see. Very good general statement, Veronica. Very good uh, topic sentence. And then, perfect, Veronica. Excellent. You did a good job. Thank you. All right, very good, right? So ya están como ya entendiendo, ¿verdad? Like how to write a, a, an int a introduction to an essay, right? Remember, estamos escribiendo un essay, right? No simplemente un chat. We're writing an essay. So you need to have five paragraphs. Pudieran desarrollar estas ideas and three paragraphs for, uh, for, for the body of the, par of the essay. And then one final paragraph for the conclusion. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to uh, practice writing my reasons in the body of the paragraph. So let me, let me share with you. Esta foto se las mandé ayer, right? La puse en el grupo. You guys can look at it, right? Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Esta, the parts of an essay. Okay, so we focus on the introduction to yesterday and today, right? It's very important. You need to have a general statement, a thesis, which is uh, a topic sentence, and your opinion. So my recommendation is have at least three opinions, three ideas. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen three paragraphs that you have to write, right? Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, okay? So tomorrow we're going to practice writing these paragraphs, okay? So, quédense con los que escribieron, right? Vamos a seguir con la misma pregunta. What advice would you give your friend to lose weight, okay? Esas ideas que ustedes tienen las van a desarrollar mañana en el body of the paragraph, of the, the, of the essay, okay? And Thursday, we're going to practice a conclusion writing a conclusion, okay? Very good, questions? Okay, I have a few, I have five minutes. I want to go over the test because uh, a lot of people have questions about the test, okay? So let me, let me project the test. Okay, sorry. Wait, wait, wait.
Okay, the final test, final exam. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre las preguntas que estaban ahí, los temas? For example, number one, what does fluency refer to? What does fluency refer to? ¿Encontraron esa? Did you guys find it? Yes, no? Yes, I did. Ok. ¿Alguien tiene una, alguna pregunta, duda, para que les pueda ayudar con esa? Number two, what does speaking, what does the speaking section measure? Did you guys find that? Number three, how long will you have to prepare your response? Right? Number four, in which question will you be presented with a situation or opinions? Question one or question two. This is for the writing. I guess it's not a fitting the writing, right? Uh, number five, mention the, the, the response features which will help you get a better score. Number six, what will you be evaluated on? Number seven, mention two tasks which will help you write an essay. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda? Con esas? Yes, I didn't find the seven. Number seven, okay. Question number no, seven. Number seven, mention two tasks which will help you write your essay. Write an outline and choose words. All right. Okay. Thank you. Time, I think this was in one of the videos. Okay. Claro, yo le he dado información que no tiene nada que ver con lo que está acá. Right? But it's my my way of looking at it that yeah, you guys need help with that okay alguien más question all right number nine uh for test query are examples of key phrases to challenge the reading number 10 mention the academic subject the lecture or reading may be about. Okay. All right. Alguien quiere ver alguna? Uh -huh. I have a question, but you help me in that. But uh, it depends if you write with commas or period or uh, mayúsculas. Yes. Know. Yes, you have to write the uh, commas. Commas. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if uh, you need capital letters. Um, I don't know, but try try writing it like this. You need to write it the exact, the exact way it it is written there. Uh, okay, the exact way that is written here. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a little tricky, right? Por eso les estoy compartiendo aquí la información, right? The first I ones I don't have them. Yeah, me neither. Okay, go ahead and uh, make a note. I have two minutes, two minutes. I have to go, but go ahead. Okay, got it. Dale. Okay, very good guys. Okay, I hope you're learning. Um, I, I, I want you guys to feel comfortable writing, right? No quiero que llegue el momento, begin writing now. Y ustedes están en blanco, right? I want you to know how to plan, how to write an introduction paragraph, how to develop your ideas, how to use linking words, how to, uh, Thursday, we're going, we're going to look at how to finish the essay, how to make a conclusion. 
OK? Estos son como guidelines, right? I'm just guiding you guys to be able to, to get the best score possible in the test. OK, any questions? Questions. All right, then. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you uh, tomorrow then, OK? We'll continue learning see tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Right. You too. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye.